right and into the faces of the Chinese. So that did the job right there. 5-6, getting close. I think it's good. It's 6-all. Six 6-all. Six nice play by China. Right on the line. Yu Yang with the serve. And now they take the lead. Three points in a row for the Chinese duo. This is better. We knew we could get a really competitive battle here. We've had some excellent rallies. And the Chinese now are deciding to put a lot of pressure on Natsia. They've seen that Widianto has got a great defense. Natsia now is uh, under huge pressure. Chinese targeting her. Well, it doesn't matter what they target if they put that kind of stuff up. Widianto is like a salmon at the net there for 7 all. that backhand that drop off the backhand side but uh, he's played a couple of loose ones and giving up those points is not a good idea at this stage the Chinese take the lead in the second game Good stuff. That's good pressure from China. Han Bin came in to kill it off, but there was big pressure throughout that rally. The Indonesians are just sitting back a little bit. They can't afford to do that, I can tell you. Yu Yang and Han Bin are just too good. This is impressive fight back by the Chinese duo. The defending champions are not done yet. We're at the semi-final stage of the Yonex Sunrise Badminton Asia Championships 2008. China versus Indonesia and Widianto comes up with a fabulous response, receiving the serve and wins the point. In case you missed it earlier, I said that uh, they played each other twice before and it's won all in matches, both at the All England Championships. The most recent victory is for Widianto and Natsia. Oh, that's excellent pickup. What a rally. That's great. Good work to level things at nine. And again, it's Widianto. His game, apart from uh, a couple of loose backhands, he has been absolutely superb. Very, very dominant in all departments. Not afraid to come forward to the net. And he is having an absolutely cracking semi-final. A little bit of powder there. Lots of sweat coming down that, rack, that arm onto the racket. Well, I must say, I think Ariono, the uh, coach, there he is. He will be really, really pleased with what's going on at the moment. Although it's level that nines in the second, I still get the distinct impression that the uh, the skill, all-round skill of Widianto, above all, will get them through. Uh -huh. Well, again, he First proves me seven. wrong immediately Ten, with a poor nine. forehand. This is a big point. Psychologically, it's always good to go in the lead at the break, at the interval. 
that going to be a long one? Oh. Yep, it is. First and it was a fault. Four. And that was a really, Service really over. poor Ten, effort by four. Yu Yang. You could tell she was, she was a little bit fidgety before that one. And I, could, I thought I'd seen the signal for a long service. It was no good. Good dummy there from Woody Anto. Threatening again. Natsir does well. And Natsir puts it wide. That's 11 10. They go to the interval. Second game. China just in the lead. Well, it is an entertaining match, no doubt about that. Natsir did well throughout, except that final point that she put wide. There it is, Indonesia 21-14, but down in the second half at the moment by 10-11. You have to keep remembering, of course, that these pairs are at the Seven, top of the world ten. tree. We're talking about right. world rank one in Indonesia, and these, the Chinese pair, Yu Yang there with the service, they're ranked three. So whatever they try, they're going to be met by extraordinary defensive abilities as well. Most of these shots would beat the average player any day. But that's a 12th jump for China. On part two, women's singles semi-finals. Yip Kui, Hong Kong, China versus Wang Li, China. Umpire, Kim Yo Jong, Korea. City judge, Maslinda Muhammad Yunus, Malaysia. Part two. Short from Yu Yang. That's here did enough with her smash. A lot of pressure on this young girl. Just uh, 22 years old. In fact, her celebrated her 22nd birthday earlier this month. And that's here. Is 20. Three years old. In fact, no, she's 22 as well. She doesn't celebrate it until September. So she's also 22 from Manado. So 13 11, China lead, and we're going to be forced into a rubber game. That's what happened yesterday. Service over. Service over. 13 11. Again, a long service, this time from Han Bin. And that is out. Well, there's a little wry smile there, but uh, wow. Tons of energy in these big hits. Watch this. Such a high jump. A little bit off balance there, and that caused the, the error. Natsir leaves it. Point Indonesia, 12-13. Let's see. Widianto, who will serve it. That is just out as well. Got to be so precise.